web series has a number of elements to it. it on one hand, it's a, uh, a linear progression of episodic storytelling. And in that really has not a huge de degree of distinction from a traditional broadcast series. Where things get interesting is on, is on three sort of major levels. The first is that you have no middleman by and large when it comes to web series distributions. There's no um, uh, firm gatekeeper you have to go through to get into a broadcast delivery. So it's much more open and accessible, which makes it more conducive to drafting and testing and, and being responsive to audience. The second big one is that it doesn't conform to a time slot or a time schedule. So that affects it in two ways. Not only is it on demand, but it's also infinitely flexible in length. So increasingly what you're seeing with web series is that the content, the length of an episode is being driven only by its content and its dramatic beats, not by anything artificial like an ad break or a time slot. So it's very common to see a web series that has a five minute episode, then the next one might be 10, then they might have a two minute, and then they might have a finale that's 15. And, and this is perfectly acceptable in the way we, we view this kind of content. Um, so at the, at the same time as it's drawing a lot on a television legacy and, and some of the principles of episodic storytelling come out of television, it also have the, has these other uh, structural elements to it. And the third, of course, is interactivity. Now, not all websites do. Some websites really do op function as just kind of web TV. Others really embrace the interactivity component that's inherent in online content. And whether that's uh, leveraging social media to extend a story, whether the web series sits as part of a larger transmedia platform, whether multiple platforms operating at the same time, we're seeing all sorts of flexibility about how the web series can scale up. Um, in many ways, web series is sort of a central element of a large transmedia project in most cases. Um, whether that extends, those other platforms extend just a little bit from the web series or whether the web series is a tiny cog and a much bigger wheel is really a project by project basis. Like most media movements of creators, it tends to come from top and bottom. There's a, and, and really, a, a movement can only succeed when it's pushed by both top and bottom. So at the top end, we're seeing um, major traditional broadcasters, film studios, um, putting money behind web series. Originally, it was almost purely in the sense of supporting content for otherwise mainstream broadcast television. So we'd see a show like Battlestar Galactica or Dexter out of the US um, uh, that would have a web series sitting alongside with it. that would either bridge gaps between seasons to keep fans going or would add supporting stories, sometimes preludes or, or um, a prequel type stories to what's happening in the broadcast. Increasingly that shift has overlapped with the move towards original online content programming uh, and original commissioning of content at, at quite a high end. Um, and you can see a lot of that coming through the Sundance Institute, you can see it coming out of Fox and, and HBO and a number of places that have put money into original content in that regard. Sony as well, Sony Studios have also put money in that way. Now of course at the other end of town that's also happening, so there's, a, there's an interesting idea around um, the idea of uh, emerging filmmakers, particularly film school students or recently graduated um, filmmakers who are looking for a calling card, they're looking for a way to define themselves in an industry. Now the traditional pathway to that has been the short film to festival route to garner enough attention and a certain level of faith that you would have what it takes to deliver a feature or, or, a, or a series. Um, and certainly we we're seeing a lot of that, but in the context of web series, increasingly seeing young filmmakers go, well look, a short film to festival may not be a very good calling card, it may not have the sort of traction that I may want it to have. Uh, is there an alternative to the short film to festival model as a way of announcing a presence or developing skills? And that's where I think the, the web series is playing a very interesting role in emerging filmmakers. Um, it gives you a chance to be very audience focused and audience responsive. Um, over time, plot lines and seasons can change based on how audiences respond to certain characters or events. It gives you a chance to engage directly with your audience and be very audience focused in a way that making a short film for the festival circuit discourages, almost actively discourages an engagement directly with audience. Um, so there's a, there's a very proactive element about the web series. So increasingly seeing a lot of emerging filmmakers making their presence known through the web series where five years ago uh, the festival route would have been the mainstay of their presence.